Um, so next up, I'd like to invite Jake. I've um, been working with Jake for a while now, um, since the start of the competition, and his confidence has ballooned. So it's amazing to see um, how that has changed. Uh, Jake's been talking about peer on peer uh, sexual abuse. So it may be distressing to some people in the room. Um, please, if you need to, you're um, to any of the support team. And what are you the mental team and um, like play on that? Thank you. Just once. Just once is all it takes for a young man or a young woman to lose all self respect. Just once is all it takes for a young person. College. Just once. The sexual abuse. In over one of police recorded sexually against children. From a sexual offence, whether that be unwanted touching or whether that be absolutely diabolical. Having a young person put in them situations organisations or in their workplaces is absolutely disgusting. In this hand I've got four different case studies. I want you to take a quick look through and one at a time if you could please stand up and read out that case study. So please, case study number one. You're walking through a park when suddenly you see three young boys touching and saying rude things to a young girl. You're walking through a park when suddenly you see three young boys Touching and saying rude things to the young girl. Lovely, thank you. Number two. You and your best friend are sitting at work when all of a sudden they start speaking inappropriately about another member of staff who you do not know so well. And number three. In school, you have noticed the relationship. Between um, a teacher and a student, the data found out that a female teacher is sending explicit and unwanted sexual images to the employer. Well, thank you very much. And number four. Case study four. Um, after volunteering in your local youth organisation for several weeks now, you begin to notice a relationship between a young person and a captain who is older, more experienced, and higher level than you. Lovely. Thank you very much. So. Within them situations, now this where I quite like a hands up, in the audience, the things that you've just said, they're obviously not very right and they're not, they're not mature, they're not appropriate. Now, can I see a raise of hands please of who in that situation would like to step in, they would like to say something, they would like to maybe stop that relationship from happening or guide that young person away from the situation it was leading to. Yeah, so quite, quite a lot of you actually would like to do that. Now, I would also like to raise a hand for how many people would like, well not would like actually, how many people would feel uncomfortable in that situation. Now it's all great, yeah yeah, absolutely. So it's all great saying you would like to get in there and you would like to stop that, but at the end of the day, in the heat of the situation, it does feel really uncomfortable. You don't know if you're going to get yourself hurt, you don't know if you could lose your job, you could lose that relationship with your best friend. but. A lot of people don't stand up for it. So due to that, 2.5% of all recorded cases get a conviction for sexual assault. Only 2.5%. And as I said before, that's of the police recorded cases, not the ones that go in the dark. Now, to put that into perspective for you, you all know Wembley Stadium. 
Wembley Stadium has a capacity of 90,000 people. That is 65,000 of you that would not stand up and would not say something. 65,000 people, which I think is quite a lot of people. So that's only 35,000 that would. Now, before I go any further, for anyone that is unsure of how to get in contact with people, for anyone that is unsure of the help that they can get themselves or the help that their friends might need to get, then there are many organisations, there are many websites and there are many support links out there. Now, a couple of these are things such as mankind.org.uk. We also have rapecrisis.org.uk. Now, these are two very good websites. They're two very helpful websites and I would encourage all of you to go and have a look. Now, quite a personal cause to me is something I'm really proud to announce. And it's a campaign, it's a new initiative called the ABC, which also stands for the All Boys Campaign. This began in October, which me and my friend set up down in Portsmouth. And so far, we're hoping that it'll be spread across the world. Now, this new initiative, we aim to support young men in peer-on-peer -peer sexual abuse. We aim to provide resources. We aim to provide teaching and help to young people that don't know where to go. We want to partner up with campaigns such as Knives Out, with organisations such as the Children's Society to battle these issues that we face today in schools, colleges and workplaces. And I would deeply encourage us all to look into that and help that way as can. And if you do see any signs of anything unwanted, anything that shouldn't be right, then absolutely follow what you think you should do. Now, please just remember, it's only just once that could change somebody's life.